Yo, today we're going to talk about do you need a college degree, a creative writing class, or some type of other formal education in writing to be a successful author. Let's go. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to bring to you my brother, Mr. Arthur Tito M. Yeah. Bradley. Right, everybody welcome back as I said in the uh, introduction today we're gonna talk about is it necessary to have a formal education in writing as far as a uh, degree or a creative writing class or a master's doctor whatever in uh, writing to be a successful author the sh my computer came on <laughs> okay the long and the short of it is yes and no. Okay. Let's get the no out the way. Now nah, let's go back. Let's get the yes out the way. If you are interested in writing and you have no idea how to write, you don't understand the basics or the fundamentals of creating a story, developing characters, um, revealing in writing, you would actually probably be better off taking a class, a uh, creative writing class, a course in writing. Um, it can get technical if you have no idea what you're doing because you actually have to have a certain flow to keep the audience engaged. And um, there is a few things that, that are required. No comes in if you're the type of individual who understands the basic mechanics of writing a lot of times there are people who read a lot so that it's easier for them to cross over to writing because they read a lot they understand the mechanics they understand how a story should actually flow and actually there's a lot of great authors that never graduated college or even went to college you have Mark Twain you have Charles Dickens, you have our own uh, James Baldwin, who encouraged his friend to write her first book, Maya Angelou. Neither one of them went to college. They didn't have any formal training in writing. But as we all know, all the four mentions are great writers, great authors. Um, they released you know, phenomenal work throughout their career. And some people can do it. Some people can't do it. It's all up to you as an individual, and you have to know your own strengths and weaknesses to pursue it. I myself did not go to college. I did not take a creative writing class. Um, I pretty much took off of what I got in high school. Uh, thank you, Miss uh, Ruth Abernathy at Shaw High. Um, we'll get into that in another video. She was my uh, English teacher in the ninth grade. And um, she's probably the reason why I'm talking to you right now. Hard, hard. Honors English in ninth grade was a nightmare. But that's neither here nor there. So to answer the question for the day, some of us will need to go get a formal education so we can understand the mechanics of the English language and how to tell stories. Some of us will not. Some of us understand it already. Some of us read a lot and pick it up along the way. As always, all my books are available link down below click like share hit the bell so when i release a video every week you'll be automatically notified just keep focused keep it original and keep on writing holler at me next week